Did you know that only one horse in the entire world is naturally capable of the tolt? Here, enjoy the tolt, the smoothest of all gates. What species of horse do you think I'm standing right beside? I'm going to give you three clues to help you guess. Clue number one, once these horses leave their homeland, they can never return. Clue number two, these are the only horses in the entire world which can do all five gates of a horse. And clue number three, these horses are both ridden and eaten. Guessed it yet? Here's a bonus clue. Here's the land in which they roam. Jerry, welcome to Events the Globe, your guide to eventful events all around the globe. Here we are in Iceland, commemorating Day of Icelandic Horses. On this day, many stables have an open house to allow visitors to learn all about these wonderful Icelandic horses. They also offer riding tours that will take you in this beautiful landscape. We've also had the privilege to ride these horses and speak to their owner, owner of Skara Hasta. This is Dotti, and we're going to ask him to tell us more about these wonderful Icelandic horses. Yes, I'm glad to tell you about the wonderful Icelandic horses. This is Ljoska, means blondie, comes from the color, and this is Stubur, means shorty. They are both uh, pure Icelandic because you only have Icelandic breed uh, in Iceland, Icelandic horse breed, and we are not allowed to bring them in again if they are once exported. Uh, Icelandic horses are uh, so popular in Iceland uh, because they have so many good qualities. For example, five gates. They have five gates, and so far as I know, the uh, only horse race in the world who have five different gates. Might be some other who have four and everything, and these five are, of course, uh, walking and yep. trot and galloping. All horses can do that. Mm -hmm. But ours have twirled, which is very smooth gait, and the fifth is pace. Yeah. We also sometimes call it flying pace. We are very fond of all these uh, gaits they have, and the excellent spirit. They're always willing to go, they're always happy, especially, of course, when they're eating, but also <laughs> when they are just walking with us in the mountains and they are so uh, secure on the food. As you experienced yourself over the river, big stones and they didn't fall. So that is uh, something, a brief discussion or brief description of the Icelandic horses. They are also colorful, as you see here, uh, and we have so many colors and so many qualities of the Icelandic horse. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Could you also tell us about this horse event that you are currently organizing? Yes, my horse club is organizing every year an uh, event here in the fjord, uh, which is a youth camp. And this youth camp uh, has now 40 children and the young people writing, and uh, there's a teacher, and they are doing all kinds of things, writing uh, experience they get in this uh, long weekend. And the parents, they are there also, they camp, and they um, stay with the kids much more than maybe in other days and other weekends because of the horses. The horses unite, so to say, the family. And uh, it is happening here, but all over the country. There are uh, young people uh, and older people having events all the time. The biggest okay, event on each, uh, is, uh, each uh, year in competition is the Landsmoot. The, the, that is uh, very big, but uh, there are only almost professionals who are writing there. But uh, my biggest events are all days writing with uh, uh, guests. Uh, over the river, into the mountain, uh, well, watching the bird life and experience a good gait of the horse and a good spirit. So the big event in uh, Landsmoot only <laughs> lasts for one week or even less, but my 
be my uh, my last word of workshop. If you've had a heyday with our video, gallop down to our like, share and subscribe buttons. Thank you. Tuck fitter.